So let's walk through Photoshop really quickly. And you can see I already have an image of myself and Lucy here on the screen. Uh, and anytime you talk about manipulating an image, Photoshop is probably going to be the program you use. Um, it's become a verb. I'm going to Photoshop it. Uh, even though there are other versions of Photoshop, which I'll mention in the module uh, underneath this video. Uh, but Photoshop is the industry standard in terms of uh, getting the image to uh, look the way you want it to look. I'm going to walk you through five really simple steps uh, in Photoshop. And there are a ton of things to learn in Photoshop. You can go in depth and learn as much as you possibly want to learn in Photoshop. And I'll link to some of the Linda tutorials. Uh, if you're into Photoshop, uh, it's a great skill to have to get good at Photoshop. But I'm just going to walk you through five. I'm going to show you how to resize. I'm going to show you how to crop. I'm going to show you how to figure out color selection. I'm going to show you how to add text. And then we'll move that text around. Uh, and those five will at least get you on the ground or off the ground and running uh, when it comes to using Photoshop. So you can see here, uh, if you go up to the top and go to image, image size is where you would go to resize that image. If you look down here, uh, if you can see my mouse, this is a seven megabyte image. So that's really large photo. Um, not just large in terms of pure size because we're viewing it at 67%. Um, so if I go up to 100, that's not that big, but 6.95 megabytes is a huge photo. So I want to resize that down. Um, and I want to um, let's see, pa, pa, pa. I want to use pixels and not images. Uh, so let's do 600 and you'll notice here, this is locked, uh, because I don't want to, this to change without the height to change as well. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and hit okay with that. And I've now made it, um, you can see it dropped all the way down to a 1.3 megabyte image, which that's better. I could then go in and change the resolution and get that even smaller if I wanted to, um, but I'm okay with 1.37. You can see it's it's a uh, much more manageable photo size now. So that's resizing. Um, cropping, if you know what the crop icon looks like, you can see it right here, and I'll, no I'll show you that every time if you hold down on these left-hand side uh, tools here, um, you will see uh, other options on each one of these, but crop is right there. And let's do that. Um, and in the crop tool, you can literally just drag and drop how you want it to be. So let's say I wanted to get rid of the rest of that and then I hit enter and now I have cropped that image. So um, really easy to crop uh, in terms of Photoshop. If you look right here, you have this kind of uh, medicine dropper looking tool. Again, if you hold down on that, it's the eyedropper. Um, and you can click anywhere here in the image, and you'll notice over here on the right hand side, uh, the image has popped up, or the color has popped up here. Um, if I click on that button now, or if I click on this area right here, I now get the hex code for that color. So um, you can do this anywhere. If I click on Lucy's fur, that went to black, almost pure black. Um, if I click on my shirt, you can see that's a dark blue color. So um, plenty of ways for you to tell what color you're using. If you click on the dirt, that's going to go to brown. If you click on the white stairs, that goes to white. So um, that's how you do color selection. Um, let me go ahead and come over here. And if you see the text... Uh, bar right there. Again, if I hold that down, I could do vertical type. I could do horizontal type. So let's just do that here. And you can see the font is obviously way too large. Uh, but if you look up here, I can change uh, the font selection. So I'm just going to make it Arial Black. Um, I'm going to lower this quite a bit because I've now... Um, I have now made the image or the image so cropped tight. I don't really have a ton of room uh, to do anything with this text, but I do want to show you here. You can change the color of your uh, text. So if you want to make it red or whatever, you just go there, hit OK. So now it's red. And then if I go right here, you have some options in terms of warping your text. So you could make it an arch if you want to do that. Um, you can. 
you know, make it a flag that's waving. Um, I probably would recommend you be very, very careful with these because they can look pretty poor um, depending on what you do. So I'm just going to leave that um, there and uh, we'll, we'll just have to go with it. And then the last thing I wanted to show you is how to move that around. So up here at the very top, you have the move tool. Um, and you can see if I grab that uh, text, um, I can now drag it around. So um, Photoshop considers these layers. So if you look over here, you can see just the image itself is my background layer. And then I have that text layer. So anything I would do on top of this as well would be another layer. And you could also click right there and turn that layer on and off. Uh, to do so. So a very basic Photoshop tutorial, but if you know how to do those five things, you can accomplish just about everything you'll need to uh, be able to handle your photos for um, your website reviews, to add text to them, to add a watermark even, um, to crop them to where you want them to be, to resize them so they're not massive images. Last thing I would tell you is to make sure you pay attention when you go to save as um, you want to make sure you are saving uh, properly. So you can see here the format it's saving it as is a Photoshop format. That is not what I want. I want it saving as a JPEG if I'm going to do it for the web. Um, and then I would want to know where I'm saving as well. So um, that would be how I end up going about saving that. So you can see my computer is now freezing up, but that's okay. Um, I would want to label that image very uh, clearly and simply. I'd probably just call it Lucy, all lowercase, um, so that I can make it better and easier to find when it comes time to use that image.